Listen. Solving crimes. It's the epitome of experience and authority in the realm of crime solving. Decorated former police officers and FBI agents will tell you. Navigating the intricate alleys of street crime to decoding the most intricate patterns of criminal psychology in the relentless pursuit of truth and justice, it takes guts. It takes grit. Because, in real life, anything can lead to special circumstances. Welcome to Special Circumstances. I'm your host, Max Hunter. I'm Max Hunter. I'm pulling up at the scene of our first crime, the silent witness. Let me tell you what I am seeing. A colossal mansion, its towering presence barely touched by the waning moonlight. As I step out, the chill of the night wraps around me. It's like a shroud. The mansion, every brick. Every window, oozes opulence. But tonight, it's a mausoleum of secrets. The air is thick, heavy with an unnerving silence that sends a shiver down my spine. A crime's been committed here, a murder that pierced through the tranquility of this estate. I approach the entrance, marble steps leading to a grand door, now a portal to a mystery. The scent of jasmine. It lingers in the air, an odd contrast to the grim reality within. With each step inside, the silence grows more palpable, a living entity that seems to suffocate the very essence of this place. In the foyer, I see it, the haunting tableau. The victim. A paragon of philanthropy, lies motionless. Amidst the grandeur of this mansion. No signs of struggle. No disturbance. Just an eerie stillness that chills me to the bone. This crime scene. It's an enigma wrapped in a riddle. No witnesses. No apparent motive, just a story begging to be told through the silence that hangs like a heavy fog in the room. And believe me, I intend to unravel this tale, painting the canvas of this chilling saga. The mansion creaks, as if echoing the mystery that resides within its walls. What happened here? Why the silence? As my footsteps echoed down the grand hallway, the mansion seemed to inhale my presence, exhaling a chilling silence that clung to the air like a ghostly embrace. The opulence of the surroundings, a regal tapestry of mahogany and gilded artistry, contrasted starkly with the unsettling quiet that now draped over the scene. At the heart of this lavish expanse lay the poignant figure of the philanthropist, their form resting upon the smooth expanse of marble flooring, frozen in a moment that time dared not disrupt. The silence, palpable and haunting, held the estate in a vice-like grip, seemingly obscuring the truth that lay just beyond my reach. My senses, keen and attuned to the slightest disturbance, scoured the surroundings for signs that would typically litter a scene of tragedy. Yet, in this pristine setting, there was an eerie absence of commotion. No shattered remnants of tranquility to mirror the grim fate that had befallen the philanthropist. The very fabric of the crime scene seemed threaded with an inexplicable void, as if the silence itself had swallowed the essence of the crime, a calculated vacuum that left me grappling in the shadows for even the faintest hint of evidence. Room after room, each exuding a meticulous perfection, held within its facades the secrets I sought. Yet, amidst this veneer of pristine order, subtle anomalies began to weave a delicate narrative. A misplaced trinket. A peculiar trail amidst the otherwise impeccable decor. These stray details, though faint, formed a tapestry of clues, hinting at a story veiled beneath the silence. A story waiting to be unearthed, deciphered from the whispers of a meticulously planned execution. The absence of expected chaos, the precise lack of disturbance, hinted at a cunning orchestration, a silent symphony composed by a meticulous maestro. The puzzle. Intricate. And confounding. Unraveled thread by thread, 
each strand unveiling the mark of a planner adept at masking their steps. The absence of customary chaos became the very signature of the killer, a masterstroke executed in silence, without leaving behind the familiar traces that often littered crime scenes. This enigma, woven in silence, begged for scrutiny, a silent requiem waiting to be heard. Join me next week as we journey deeper into the mind of a murderer. The silence may veil the truth, but it cannot muffle the echoes forever. Solving Crimes It's the epitome of experience and authority in the realm of crime solving. Decorated former police officers and FBI agents will tell you. Navigating the intricate alleys of street crime to decoding the most intricate patterns of criminal psychology in the relentless pursuit of truth and justice, it takes guts. It takes grit. Because, in real life, anything can lead to special circumstances. Listen. Listen.